hi children we know the term inertia is introduced from newton's first law of motion that is why newton's first law of motion is also known as law of inertia when traveling in a train or any other vehicle have you not noticed how you continue to move forward when it stops yes you just experienced inertia inertia is the tendency of a body to resist a change in motion or rest inertia is the tendency to continue in the same state when a vehicle stops you tend to jerk forward before coming to a complete stop when a bus is stopped suddenly you will have a tendency to fall forward in the same way you will jerk backwards when the vehicle begins to move that is when a bus at a rest starts suddenly you will have a tendency to fall backward this phenomenon occurs because of newton's first law of motion an object at a rest or motion will continue to be in the same state of rest or motion unless acted upon by an external force this is newton's first law of motion it means objects tend to keep on doing what they are doing unless disturbed there are three types of inertia first one inertia of rest then inertia of direction and inertia of motion next let us see the relation between inertia and mass in the first case a boy is trying to push a small box by applying a force in the second case the boy is trying to push a larger box a bigger box by applying a force in which case the box will continue the same state of rest for a longer time yes in the second case in the second case you know it is not easy to change the state of box from rest to motion the box will continue the same state of rest unless enough unbalanced force is acting on it therefore we can say for second box inertia is more because inertia is the tendency to continue in the same state so we can say if mass is more then for such bodies inertia also will be more inertia is directly proportional to ma mass if you compare a bicycle and a train you know train is having more mass therefore for train inertia will be more 